Hello, this is a virtual pathology specimen of a lipoma, which is a benign adipocytic tumor. You can see that this tumor is very rounded and lobulated, and we are looking here at the cut surface, which shows a relatively yellow homogeneous appearance. As we rotate this tumor, you can see that it has a very rounded, well-circumscribed outer surface. And this tumor is usually easily enucleated during surgery. Let's learn a bit more about lipoma. Lipomas are the commonest soft tissue tumors in the body, and they are benign. They are composed of adipocytes or fat cells. They can occur anywhere, and usually these tumors arise in the subcutaneous plane, so they are relatively superficial and can be palpated. Sometimes they can be deeper and occur within the muscle, and they can also sometimes occur in visceral locations, for example, in the stomach or in the colon. There can be submucosal lipomas. Clinically, these tumors will present as a painless lump, and they can sometimes be multiple in certain syndromes, for example, Cowden syndrome. This virtual pathology specimen that you just saw, which is fully interactive, as well as this video and other annotated pictures, can be found in PathWeb, our free virtual pathology resource. You can scan this QR code for more information and you can register for free. The registration link is in the video description. Grossly, lipomas usually are well circumscribed and you can see here that they have this lobulated or nodular gross appearance and the cut surface is usually homogeneous and yellowish. Sometimes in larger tumors there may be bright yellow areas of fat necrosis and we do not see this here. Microscopically they are composed of lobules of mature adipocytes and sometimes we can see these thin fibrous septa that are made up of collagen. Here we can see the adipocytes which appear very empty because the fat is washed out during processing of the tissue into microscopic slides and the nuclei are compressed to the edge of the cell. There are several other types of lipomas in addition to the classical lipoma, and here is an example of a spindle cell or pleomorphic lipoma. These two lesions are generally considered to be variants of the same neoplasm, so we can see mixed spindle cell areas and also pleomorphic areas in the same lesion. This is also a benign adipocytic tumor, and interestingly, this tends to occur very specifically in middle-aged to elderly men, and usually in the region of the posterior neck, the back, and the shoulder region. Grossly, these tumors are also circumscribed. They are in the subcutaneous plane, and they have a yellow tan cut surface. They tend to be firmer than a regular lipoma, and you can see here that there are some whitish areas. Microscopically, there are also lots of mature adipocytes, as you can see here. But at the same time, there are these spindle cells which look very bland, and they are arranged in short parallel bundles. There is also often pink ropey collagen in between the adipocytes. And here is the pleomorphic lipoma area where we can see some multinucleated giant cells. The nuclei can be arranged in a sort of a circle, and these are known as floret cells or floret giant cells. And sometimes there are also large cells with hyperchromatic bizarre nuclei, hence the name pleomorphic lipoma. These tumors are also benign. In summary, this is an example of a lipoma, which is a very common benign adipocytic tumor arising in the subcutaneous plane and occasionally in the intramuscular location. Grossly, these tumors have a very homogeneous yellowish cut surface and they are often well circumscribed and lobulated. These tumors are benign and excision is curative. There is also a separate video describing the microscopic features of lipoma, and these can be found also in our Virtual Pathology Museum in PathWeb. Thank you.